So, as we said, in terms of the grip, okay, you want to make sure that left hand is twisted over a bit more. Ideally, you'll be able to see the two knuckles on your left hand, obviously without sort of looking to see with your head there and sort of keep your head straight down there, looking at the grip. So, when you look at that left hand position there, now your left hand you can clearly see is further over, yeah? Mm. You go on that one there? So, that left hand's obviously further around. Mm. That one's in that more natural palm facing into your leg. Like I say, it's the natural position, your left, your left arm hangs down. You don't walk around sort of this yeah. way, so we don't want to have the club in that way, because that's why people say, it feels a bit awkward to do that, can't do that. But if you're holding the club in an unnatural way, the wrist is going to want to go in that direction. It's very unnatural and to sort of go and do that. Yeah. Now you're changing your forearms and your elbows and all that sort of thing. So if you grip it from here, left arm in that position we showed you and the two knuckles on the top, now your hand kind of well, kind of wants to go there. It'd be very unnatural and to want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What we often see, this is a very female common fault in such a way, but because of range of motion with the left wrist. We talked about your swing before going back. You can see how your left wrist is pointing down a little bit mm -hmm. and the swing and the club face is on the point there that we can see is going straight down. Mm -hmm. At that point, the club should be sort of facing towards the camera. Part of that's going to do the grip though, okay? But that was your back swing now with just your arms. What we're trying to do now is get a little bit more hinge of the wrist. So as the club went back, and it goes go back, <laughs> there we go. So look at that club face now. As the club's going back, you can see it's pointing straight mm -hmm. down to the ground. So when you start hinging up now, Look at that left wrist really sort of bowing and mm. disappearing behind. So your left wrist, or the back of your left wrist, is pointing that way and the club's pointing down. Mm. What we'd look to try and see is the left wrist here pointing straight back towards the camera or the mirror or whatever you're going to be mm. pointing to. And the club face, if I want to put two seconds, from here the club wants to be kind of that way. You've kind of got it twisted that mm. way. So when it comes back to the golf ball, it's going to be mm. twisted to your left foot there, which is why your shots, when you made reasonable contact, would go low left, okay? That's a more powerful move in terms of length to swing, obviously, as you come back to the golf ball now, because the club face we can see now sort of twisted a little bit closed there, mm. that golf ball is going to be hit off to the left as the shots did go, okay? So the information you gave the golf ball was a lot of speed because you had a longer swing and the hinge of the wrist were correct, or you did hinge the wrist, but the position they got into caused the golf club to aim to the left, hence why the shots would then go into the left, okay? And you'll very often find they'll go quite low because if we borrow that club a second, if the club face starts straight and then we do this with the club, we've now got less angle on the golf club to come back to the golf ball. If the club face is this way, it's obviously got more angle. Mm. So when the club comes back in like so, it's now going to hit the golf ball low off the left hand side. And that purely caused by that left wrist position here in the back screen. Okay, so your club face now here, you can see it sort of pointing back towards the camera. It's kind of in that position, not that position, okay? So in terms of practice, what you can do is you can borrow a club or get something, stand there in front of the mirror and just swing the golf club back. So the club now you can see is pointing sort of towards you, yeah? Your club on the camera is pointing like that. So when it comes back to the golf ball, yeah. there's impact. It's going to go yeah. low left. Like you want the club face to be pretty straight. So the arrows here on the grip are on top and the club face itself. If you look at the grooves on the golf club, they sort of go continue on straight toward the middle part of my feet. So if I turn it this way, you can see the lines on the golf club now are aiming towards my right foot. So that's going to be what we call a closed club face. The ball now would just simply go to the left. The information the club has given is the ball to go in that direction, which is where your shots were. So practice why setup's good. Just flex the knees as we said, but practice now is going to be getting that L shape or that hinge of the wrist. If you can get that. So maybe if you perhaps wear a watch when you swing a golf club. Have your watch face obviously on the outside there facing to the target and then when you swing back get your watch face facing the wall or an object out there rather than the ground and behind you okay does that make sense Helen? Yeah. any questions at all on that or is that no, good practice exactly okay have a couple more shots then with that and we'll see how it goes okay